We're so excited to talk to you about Summer Reading 2021. This summer's theme is the Great Darien Road Trip. Join your librarians as we travel all the way from Darien, Connecticut to San Francisco, California. Along the way, you can participate in reading and activity challenges. Each challenge you complete will earn you one raffle ticket that you can enter into one of our amazing prize baskets. Everyone who signs up gets a free book. There are two ways to sign up this summer. The first way is digitally. You can sign up by going to darianlibrary.beanstack.org or by downloading the Beanstack app on your mobile device. The second way is signing up the old fashioned way by coming into the library and getting one of our beautiful old fashioned maps. This summer, summer reading runs from Monday, June 21st until Saturday, August 14th. We hope you'll join us on this road trip of a lifetime. Where will you go this summer? Hit it, Miss Krishna! Woo! <laughs> Hi, Miss Krishna here from Darien Library. Hi, Kate here. Hi, I'm Miss Angela. Hi, I'm Miss Erica. Hi, everyone. I'm Miss Samantha. Imagine the king of the birds. Let me guess. Did you picture a crow? No. Well, did you know that crows can imitate sounds like car horns and people talking? They can count up to six. They have really big brains. And some scientists say that crows are intelligent as a seven-year-old human. Not convinced? Meet Arlo, crow extraordinaire and king of the birds. In this book, when Arlo leaves the forest to visit the big city, he makes a new friend and regales him about all the things that make crows the king of the birds. His new friend might not be that impressed. King of the Birds by Elise Gravel has fun illustrations with full color, perfect for people who love Bun Bun and Bon Bon and Narwhal and Jelly. I present to you what I think is the scariest book of 2020. It's called Tiny Monsters and it's written by Robin Page and illustrated by Steve Jenkins. So imagine millions of monsters lurking in your backyard, lurking in your kitchen cabinets, and even on your eyelashes. Ugh. <laughs> I wish this was the plot of the newest Goosebumps book, but the monsters in this book are completely real. So modern microscopes make it possible for us to see the teeny tiny little creatures that are all around us. Do you like cereal for breakfast? Well, you're in very good company. So does the mealworm. Mealworms love to hide in your box of Frosted Flakes. Dracula has nothing on the cannibalistic jumping zebra spider that kills its prey with its venomous fangs. This book is chock full of creepy cool facts and amazing paper cut illustrations by Steve Jenkins. So check out Tiny Monsters written by Robin Page, illustrated by Steve Jenkins. Discover amazing, but true, shark facts when you borrow a copy of Everything Awesome About Sharks and Other Underwater Creatures by Mike Lowry. This comprehensive guide to marine science includes some of the weirdest and deadliest creatures and all of the salty details about the underwater habitats that sharks and other fish call home. You may think you know every shark fact under the sea, but prepare to add more did you know facts to your noodle. Here's an example. Did you know that one of the shark's superpowers is the tiny tooth-like bumps that grow on their skin called denticles? They help sharks swim through the water super quickly. And just like your baby teeth, denticles fall out and grow back. If this colorful and detailed field guide doesn't sound like enough, never fear. You won't want to miss out on the do-it-yourself guide to drawing the narwhals, sharks, and octopuses that appear in this book. Deep sea jokes are included and the cost is free when you borrow a copy of this aquatic masterpiece from Darien Library. I love the creepy story and I have a great one for you. It's called 
Rise of Zombert, and it's written by Carol LaRoe and illustrated by Ryan Andrews. So on the outskirts of town, test subject Y91, a cat with nothing left to lose, escapes from his laboratory cage in the dead of night. While filming the next installment of their horror movie franchise, 10-year-old Melly and her best friend Danny find the fugitive cat and name him Bert. But it doesn't take Millie long to realize that Bert is not like other cats. For one, he refuses to eat his organic Yumko cat food, but he does have a taste for brains. <laughs> Bert loves to devour the heads of neighborhood animals. And with a trail of corpses behind them, Danny and Millie suspect that Bert might just be a zombie. Meanwhile, the laboratory is hot on the case of their missing cat and an unsuspecting Melly. So if you're a fan of the Nicula or the incredibly dead pets of Rex Dexter, I highly recommend checking out Rise of Zombert, written by Carol LaRoe and illustrated by Ryan Andrews. This is Celeste. She is a cockroach, a Madagar hissing cockroach. Her and her kin have been around for 300 million years. That's a long time. Enough time to become experts on a great many things, like surviving. She's really good at that. But she's not just a survivor, she's a classy survivor. Stylish, elegant, chic, and smart. And she can teach you not just how to outsmart an ordinary hairy bear or a sharp-toothed cat, but how to survive the polite predators in your life. The sly ones that ask you to stroll in the moonlight or have tea on the terrace. Intrigued? How to promenade with a python and not get eaten by Rachel Polyguin, Celeste is the perfect guide to help you avoid being consumed by a predatory promenading python. This nonfiction book is hysterical and informative. Just try not to giggle while learning a ton of factual information about pythons that you'll definitely remember.